All right, body condition scoring of cattle. Today we're going to spend a little bit of time on, on one of the visual indicators that we have with respect to uh, management of the nutrition of our cattle. Uh, and body condition scoring is extremely important. A lot of producers may not use a for, uh, formal body condition scoring numerical system like we're going to talk about today, but they do evaluate the condition or the, the flesh or fattening uh, of their cows and so that they can have some ideas of whether maybe they're overfeeding or underfeeding those cattle. So first let's talk about the priorities of a lactating cow. Uh, first and foremost on the priority level of that cow is the calf. She's going to be providing milk for that calf uh, and if you're meeting the requirements for milk as well as maintenance of that cow, uh, her body condition will remain the same. But if you're not providing enough of those nutrients, which oftentimes when we're balancing out of the diet of a, of a cow that's got a calf at site, uh, we balance it based off of maybe losing some condition over that first 120 days of her, her milking cycle there. Uh, and so she's going to, she, if you don't have enough nutrients there, she's going to lose some of her fat reserves, her body reserves of energy, uh, in order to support that calf. Uh, then after that, uh, her, the next priority in line is her own condition. And so she's going to lose some condition for the calf, but it, at some point uh, she will continue to lose condition and maybe even lose some, some muscle mass as well. Uh, so she's got to maintain that. And if, if the nutrient drain is too high, then she will uh, back off of milk production as well, which will sacrifice the performance of the calf. Last in line of the priorities of the lactating cow is reproduction. Uh, and fertility will be, and cycling will be delayed uh, after uh, a period of time if those nutrient requirements are not met, her body condition scores becomes too low, and essentially the body just says, hey, I don't have enough energy reserves to go ahead, jumpstart the reproductive cycle, and go ahead and, and start cycling so that that, that animal could rebreed. And so, Last in line is reproduction. We discussed in class that as we, we talked about the economics of, of beef cattle production and the cow-calf enterprise, reproduction and fertility is so important to the grand scheme of things and, and the profitability. It's last in line when we're talking about a cow when she's got a calf at side and we're trying to get her rebred there. So body condition is extremely important there. All right, so we know from, from uh, various different studies uh, and, and demonstrations on the effect of condition of a cow uh, at calving that kind of some targets we ought to have for body condition would be a body condition score of five. Now, what, are, what is the scoring system on body condition? Well, a one is extremely thin, emaciated. Uh, two is just a little more condition. Three is a little more after that. But an average conditioned cow meaning she's got a smooth layer of fat all over her body would be about a body condition score five. As we begin to add additional fat and we begin to see some pone fat or some fat in her brisket, we get up to a six and then a seven and then an eight and a nine are extremely obese. For most ranches, the, the range that they will see in their cow herd is somewhere between a three to a six, maybe a seven at the highest, but most of the time it's between a three and a six. If we get below a three and get to a two and a one, and on a grand scale we've got the whole herd looks like that, we probably got a little bit of a neglect there and we probably need to really up that nutrition level of those cows. Whereas if we get cows that are, that are above that body condition score six or seven, those cows are probably being fed too much or maybe they just missed a calf uh, the previous year and that's why they have that extra condition on them. So, uh, our target, and one of the things we know from data, and we'll show you some of those numbers, is that we ought to be looking at about a body condition score five uh, at calving. And so average condition at calving is kind of a target that we shoot for. So when we're evaluating those body condition scores, some areas that we're going to look at uh, in evaluating the body condition score of cattle. One, we have to understand that cattle will fatten from their, the top down and the front back. So what you'll see on, on whether it be uh, breeding animals or market steers and heifers, they're always going to begin to put on some fat in the brisket. They'll begin to put on fat uh, as we begin to move from the top down into the, from the front back. They'll put on some fat behind their shoulders, across their ribs, around their tail head. 
uh, down their top line, all the way down into their, their udder or cod will get some excess fat. And so as cattle become extremely fat, they take on more of a rectangular type appearance uh, with that. So some key areas that we're going to evaluate condition for a body condition scoring is uh, we're going to look at the ribs. And so if we can see any of the ribs, they're probably going to be in somewhere that four to uh, three to four body condition score range. If all of their ribs are covered and they've got fat all over the rest of their body across their spine, they're probably going to be somewhere in that five to six. When we see a lot of extra brisket or a lot of fat around their tail head and pones, they're probably going to be up into that six or seven. So that gives you some key areas and we'll look at some examples uh, with condition score a little bit later. So as we know from data, as body condition score uh, uh, decreases, gets below a five at calving, uh, when those cattle calve, we can see that those cattle have a harder time calving. And some of the studies uh, from Texas indicate cows at a body condition score three, you may only have about a 50% chance that those cows are going to go ahead and rebreed within a 90 to 120 day uh, period of time uh, after the bull's been turned out. So the, and, and we've, this has been documented as well in, in Oklahoma and, and Florida, as well as across the United States. So it's well documented that as body condition score increases from a two or three up to a five or six at calving, uh, we're gonna see an increase. And where the acceptable range on body condition scores at calving is somewhere in that five to six range. We know that those cows, uh, if they're in that condition, as long as everything's right uh, from a, their organ and hormones and everything and the bull's good, we ought to see those cattle ought to conceive and uh, be bred for the next calf in them. One of our recommendations on heifers is we probably recommend seeing those heifers in more of a, a closer to a body condition score six at calving to give them just a little bit of extra buffer uh, for whenever they have that first calf there. Uh, one thing, and, and there's a lot of data out there, and we'll show you a slide here that, that's got some numbers that indicate some big differences when you put in fair market value. And I've plugged in some fall of, of 2015 uh, market data in there, and you can see there was about $170 difference between a three and a four uh, uh, cow and about uh, $250 difference between a four and a five cow and about $60 between a five and a six. So we always recommend at least getting those cows to a body condition score five at calving because the difference between a three and a five is right now uh, there's about $430 difference, $420 difference between those two. And you could, after weaning, you could really spend some additional money to bring those cattle up to provide by bringing their body condition score up to an acceptable range there. Now, it's not to say that just because I calve my cows out in a body condition score four that my rebreeding rate may be in the 60s or 70s. Uh, if you calve them out in, at that score and you try to maintain the condition or possibly bring it up a little bit after they've calved, you're still gonna have acceptable condition, but it's just gonna be a little more expensive to, to do it and a little harder uh, to maintain that condition or at least bring it up uh, after they calve. So it's always better to, to shoot for that body condition score five to six uh, range there. Now when's the time that we do manage body, or we actually look at body condition score? Well it's good practice to evaluate it throughout the year, but some key times to look at it would be, one would be at weaning. Because if we wean those calves off the cow, we know we're gonna have several months prior to those cows calving again. And so we can begin to look at and see, well, if those cows are in a body condition score four and I'm weaning those calves uh, in August and they're not gonna start calving until maybe December, January, I've got some pretty good uh, summer grasses, some fall grass available that's really good. I've got 120 days before those cows are gonna calve and I need to maybe put on uh, possibly 70 to, to 100 pounds on those cows. I can do that fairly easy during that period of time uh, with that quality of, of grass. Now, if I wait until maybe a month before, I'm gonna have to feed those cows a little bit more to try to bring them up some to, to get to those optimal body condition scores. And so, uh, again, 
really at weaning is a great time to evaluate those cattle as well as when you throughout uh, after weaning up until the calving. Another good time to evaluate body condition scores throughout the winter feeding period. Uh, whenever we get into some, some long, cold, wet winters, especially here in Texas and the southeast, uh, we will see some big energy drains on those cows. And if we're not offsetting that with extra nutrients, they will really lose a lot of body condition uh, over time and they'll come out of the winter looking pretty rough. So uh, monitoring that body condition during the hay feeding and supplemental feeding uh, season is extremely important as well. So some things to look at.